It's inspired by air. It's electro shift. Yes, electro shift like this right here. What's up, everybody? I'm John. I'm Isaac. And we are Cars and Cameras, and we are close to paint on the CB750 cross cart. All we have left to do, it's an ambitious lift list we have today. We have fan, firewall, toggle switches, paddle shifters, and lights, and then we're ready for paint. A lot of people have been asking what kind of paint we're going to choose for this project. I'm going to keep it under wraps right now, but I think the Empire would be proud. All right, dude. I think the first thing we need to do is put the firewall in. Yes. And then we can do the fan. Yep. Well, to do that, we got to get rid of the death shifter. Moment of silence for the death shifter. I never liked it, to be honest. All right. I, I don't even think that was a... Uh... Cottard? Cottard. Uh-oh. Bro. Yo. That dash looks so good, though. Doesn't it look cool? It look way cooler with this thing out of the way. I'm gonna get this all the way out of the way so we'll never poke someone in the eye ever again. Wait a minute. That looks cooler. It looks cleaner, that's for sure, man. Yeah. We got a notch out for the battery box. I'm assuming we're keeping the battery box there. We got a notch out for the clutch linkage. Category one hurricane. Check it out. Just a little loose. I think it's gonna work great though. adjustment I went too tight. loose it. <laughs> yeah we have up and down and in and out so should work for us should lead for good visibility it should also help our look too that we're still keeping under wraps for now. our lights are mounted and the wiring and switches are pretty much 
done. Check it out. We have lights. We have fan. Speedo doesn't work. Tack works and then power. So now it's time for our paddle shift setup. Well, it's not gonna be a paddle shift. Yeah, so explain what we have going on, dude. Well, we're gonna install a couple of buttons on the steering wheel, and you know the air shift, where you can pss, pss, and shift up and down? Yes. Well, we're not gonna use air shift. But it's inspired by air shift. It's inspired by air it's shift. It's electro shift. Yes, electro shift, like this right here. Ooh. So, Let's rig it up. See, that's that's push. If I reverse the thing, it'll pull. That's cool, man. This is a door lock actuator for like a 1983 Cadillac DeVille or something like that. Costs us 60 bucks. 60 bucks, and hopefully it'll shift for us. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, Dude, I'm ready. I'm. It might do it. If it does it, we can install this on the anything with Ducardi. gears. Yeah, we can. The two hundred. The yeah. The other car over there. Push button shift, dude. The only disadvantage is I'm not sure we can get uh get it in neutral. Like if we can get it down into first and we just barely bump for second, it might stop in the middle. So if you're really good, you can put it in neutral. I'm beat, dude. We got beat. I've been beat. Let's show them. All right. It was a pretty good idea, I thought. Uh, but there's our electric motor. Uh, it felt strong enough when I had it in my hand, but here we go. It just won't push it far enough. I mean, like, how much is that bar in the way? Like, it's not. I mean, it's. See. It's, oh, it's yeah, not even. Yeah. So anyhow. Bummer. Yeah, it's a bummer. So I guess we're gonna look into an air shifter. Yeah. While Ike was messing around with the electric shifter, I was kind of holding up some cardboard and trying to figure out some scoops for the sides of this thing. They're aesthetic, but they're also a little functional. <laughs> but check it out. That's kind of what we're working with right there. So now that I have a rough idea of what I want, I can cut them out of our nice thin sheet metal, start welding them up. Eastwood sent us some metal shears. We have a straight, a left, and a right. Check them out at a link in the description. These things come in handy. All right, to be honest, a little thick. Yeah, it is a little thick for those, but look at them go though. Doing work. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right, man, I'm gonna need your eyeball expertise. It doesn't look like you need to trim the end of it. Ow, 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 my legs. Not all the welding is done yet, and of course, after the welding is done, we're gonna take a paddle wheel to it, and smooth it all out so it'll just look perfect. But it's late, and we're tired, so 
this is the end of the video. I'm sorry. Here's what we have though. Switches, lights, fan, fan thank you, firewall, and <laughs> scoops. The yeah. electric shifter was a fail, but we're gonna look into an air shifter, and if that doesn't work, we've already done uh, cable paddle shifters before we know we can make it work. Thank you for tuning into this video today, guys. Don't forget, if you're in the area or if you're not in the area, come to Mini Mayhem October 4, 5, 6. You can find more information and uh, RSVP on cars-cameras.com or on our Facebook page at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Speaking of our Facebook page, check out what we're up to in between videos on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews for sneak peeks. Check me out at Isaac, it'll be fine. That's right, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Let us know what you think. Oh yeah, I can't wait to tell you all what our paint scheme is going to be, but I'm really, I'm really in into it. So thank you again for watching, and we will see you next time. I'm a little afraid of us off-roading this thing and getting in a little bit of water and, or mud and getting all in that fan. So I wouldn't be surprised if it were, if it were to fail. So up here I'm thinking either mounting the fan up top and duct some duct work to the front of the engine or boats have uh, the, the blowers that you air out the bilge before cranking it up. Maybe a couple of blowers ducked to the front of the engine would work.